Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I had company and the company has just left. So um, it, was, it was my cousin from Florida, my sister, my brother, and uh, my brother-in-law. And of course Jim and I were there. And, um, and my cousin had his little dog, Bella. Bella Mia, he calls her. My Bella Mia, my Belle, in other words. And my Jake had to stay in the house because he's not nice. He's such a mean little dog when it comes to other dogs. It's so sad because he could have enjoyed sitting on my lap if he could only just behave himself, but he can't quite seem to do it. Well, anyways, I was showing them my chickens and my um, cousin, he asked me, and I, I realized, you know, like, it must be really people that are not around farm animals really don't know. But um, he asked me if I had a rooster. And I said, no, I might have a baby one that's going to be a rooster. But I don't have a rooster. And he says, and you still get eggs? <laughs> yeah, I still get eggs. He wanted to know, how do the hens still lay eggs if there's no rooster? Well, hens will lay an egg no matter what. They don't need the rooster. The only thing the rooster does is fertilize those eggs. So if they decide to sit on them, they will hatch. Otherwise, of the eggs that if there's no rooster, those eggs will never hatch. And so you have to figure out a way to break your hen of being broody. And when I said that, he says, well, what's broody? Broody means they want to sit on an egg. They're, they get their motherly, motherly, um, Ex motherly sense not I wanted to say extinct they're not extinct <laughs> their motherly sense seems to pop and they want to they want to sit on some eggs and they want to have some babies well Emma has now two babies uh, a dark one and the little yellow one that I saw yesterday I can't tell if she has any more. She's not getting off the nest yet. So apparently she still thinks that maybe some more will hatch. There, She could sit there another two days still. She's making the little clucking sound. So it's, she's probably encouraging them to try harder. Try and poke yourself out. Come on. I'm waiting for you out here. Because the mama hen does that when they're um, when the eggs are getting ready to hatch. They start to make this little clucking sound. Also, um, it was mentioned that I, they say, I see you have a cage there. And I go, no, that's not a cage. That's actually a, tr a, a tractor. Chicken, Chicken tractor. tractor. Yeah, I had to think. It's called a tractor. Or a sunshield. And with a sunshield on the top. And um, she goes, oh, so you put them in timeout? And I go, no, they don't go in timeout. And that was built because when the hens are having their pecking order, sometimes they pick on somebody and the somebody that's being picked on needs to be separated from the others, but they still need to be able to see that hen so that they will just say, well, yeah, she's right there, no big deal, and leave her alone. And after a while, you can remove the barrier that's between them and then they all get along again. Or if you know who the instigator is to this nastiness, you put that one inside the chicken tractor and all the other hens will live happily together. And when the new, the one that was inside the chicken tractor returns to the flock, he, that one will have to find its position in the flock. So the pecking order has changed again. So that's what that was for. But it was like, you mean to put them in timeout? No, no timeouts for the chickens. Just safety is what you use those for. Well, I had no idea what I was going to talk about, but it seems like they brought me a topic. And then they asked me what, if I had um, brown eggs or white eggs. And I said, I have brown eggs, white eggs, and green eggs. And the green egg thing caught their eye, and they go, the yolk's green? No, the yolk's not green. Just the outer shell is green. The inside looks the same. So those that are city city um, born or city living they forget and those that are country living they go to the city they forget because um, 
one of them actually grew up when I grew up, but she was much younger, so maybe that's why she doesn't remember. But if you live in the city or the town too long and get away from farming and away from the habits of the farmers or the habits of those that raise animals, I think you forget. You, you, it's all Greek to you. So when kids in school don't know where their food comes from, it's time to have them grow it so that they know where does their food come from because they all think it's coming from the grocery store and where does the meat come from well it's packaged and it comes from the grocery store but they don't realize that the animal that's connected to that meat um, probably came from a farm so that's it for today oh and I want to I wanted to tell you yesterday I was um, I had a another um, shout out and it was from from um, Fritzy, yeah, I forgot for a minute. Oh my goodness! And I wrote it down so I would not forget. And Fritzy, I want to say hi to your little guy, Jaden. Hi, Jaden. You're there. I know you're there. I'm not going to use the magic mirror because I know you watch my videos with your grandma. And I want to say hi to you. And Fritzy is a, a very uplifting lady. She's kind of she's real excitable when she starts her videos she does her car vlogs and when she starts her videos she goes good morning good morning good but she's really really loud she reminds me of when you go to um, some of the different churches and they're all singing and they're all standing up and clapping their hands well that's a fritzy for you she's a happy clapper and happy 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 and she's a very, very exuberant. exuberant yes she is she's she um likes to encourage you to enjoy your day and she's looking like she's enjoying hers and you can't help but smile when she's talking so hi fritzy and hi Jaden. i will watch to see your video tomorrow and thank you for the little shout out that you gave me and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.